Hey guys, Jeff Goldtrap here in Nashville. Uh, here's a question that came up today and I wanted to answer the question and be of some help if I could. Uh, here's the question, will I get my motion for discovery in general sessions? Great question. Now, first of all, it kind of depends on which county, you know, some counties call them motions for discovery. Some counties call them a request for discovery. If you look at it, discovery is part of the rules of criminal procedure. Don't get lost in the weeds about that. You just stick to listening to your lawyer and follow the lead from your lawyer. Your lawyer will know how to request discovery. Now, the first question is, do I get my motion for discovery in general sessions? Well, general sessions is not the place for discovery. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fighting going on about that. There are a lot of lawyers who believe that we should get uh, complete discovery in general sessions. I like that idea and I would still argue for it. Uh, the, our Supreme Court and our, our Court of Criminal Appeals have not necessarily caught up with that idea yet, but we're still arguing for it. We're still trying to push out there for you. But will you get the discovery? If you mean copies and documents and scientific tests like you get in criminal court, no, you will not get that in general sessions. So, General Sessions is not discovery. It, it, it sure is. Technically, General Sessions and preliminary hearings are only to determine probable cause. Remember, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, it's probably a duck. That's not necessarily the legal answer, but that's the real world walking man on the street kind of answer. But uh, will, is, is, it, is General Sessions and preliminary hearings the place for formal discovery? No, they're not. The next question, can I use, can your attorney use general sessions to get discovery about a case? Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to get as much information, as much bang for my buck, as much juice out of the berry, as it were, in general sessions before we go into criminal court. If there are good things about my case, I want to get that information out there. If there are bad things about my case, I want to know it now. So the question, do I get my motion for discovery in general sessions court? No, you don't. There is not a motion for discovery in general sessions court, but you will get as much information as your attorney can get for you. Hey, I'm Jeff Goldtrap. I'm here in Nashville. If I can help you, I want to. You can reach me by phone, by text, by email. You can join my Tennessee Legal Questions Law Facebook group. You can uh, like me, like my law office on Facebook. Uh, you can just reach out, come over to the office sometime. Just make a cup of coffee and talk. Hey, I look forward to helping you out.